This video will show you how to properly stop your IV infusion on the Iton Medical Sapphire Infusion Pump. Please follow all instructions shown in this video. Administering IV medications on the Sapphire Pump can be safe and easy with proper instruction. Your home health nurse will be available to instruct you on the procedure following discharge and will visit weekly and as needed for your catheter dressing change and any labs that your doctor has ordered. Please begin by preparing your work surface by cleaning the area thoroughly with soap and water or a disinfectant wipe. And drying thoroughly. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds and then dry your hands. Use a separate towel to turn the faucet off. When your infusion is nearing completion, an alarm may sound and you will see the message display, Infusion Near End. This is designed to give you a warning 10 minutes prior to infusion completion. To clear this message and the alarm, Press Mute and then press OK. When your infusion has completed, an alarm will sound and the screen will display a message, Infusion Complete. It will also display the volume infused, infusion rate, and total time the pump was running. Press Mute, then press OK. Pump will enter KVO or Minimal Infusion Rate Mode. When ready to disconnect, stop your Sapphire Pump by pressing Quit. The display will return to the home screen. To turn off the Sapphire Pump, press the On-Off button and then press Off on the touch screen. Prepare Saline Syringe. Disconnect the tubing from your injection port of your IV catheter as shown. If another dose of medication is to be administered the same day, place a light blue protective cap on the end of the tubing to keep it sterile. If your medication is TPN, you will dispose of your tubing and use a new tubing set with each dose. Clean the injection cap on the end of your IV catheter with an antiseptic wipe vigorously for 30 seconds. And let air dry for 60 seconds. Repeat this process with a new antiseptic wipe if your medication is TPN. Attach a pre-filled saline syringe to the injection cap of your IV catheter and flush the IV catheter as instructed by your healthcare professional. Disconnect the syringe from the injection cap of your IV catheter and discard. <clears throat> Some patients will be ordered heparin for their IV catheter. If your catheter requires the use of heparin, clean the injection cap on the end of your IV catheter with an antiseptic wipe vigorously for 30 seconds. And let air dry for 60 seconds. Repeat this process with a new antiseptic wipe if your medication is TPN. Attach a pre-filled syringe of heparin to the injection cap of your IV catheter and flush your IV catheter as instructed by your healthcare professional. Disconnect the syringe from the injection cap of your IV catheter and discard. Flush any additional lumens as directed by your healthcare professional using the same technique. Remove the sapphire tubing cassette from the pump by opening the safety door on the side. Release the cassette by pushing the metal lock upwards as shown. Remove cassette and close the door. If discarding the used tubing and medication, Double bag and place in your household garbage. You will need to charge your Sapphire Pump's internal battery with the charging cord that came with your pump. 
Plug the power cord into the sapphire pump by lining up the red dot on the cord end with the arrow at the bottom of the pump as directed. Be careful not to twist or turn the cord while plugging into the pump. Instead, push the cord directly in. The yellow charge light will blink to indicate that the pump is charging and will remain steadily lit when fully charged. When charging is complete, remove the power cord from the pump by grasping the metal connector close to the pump and pulling straight out. It is recommended that you have the pump plugged in and charging while your infusion is running as often as possible. Your sapphire pump must be plugged in for a minimum of six hours a day to maintain its charge. After you care for your IV, always wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds. IV medication supplies are single use only and should be disposed of after one use. Proper administration of your IV medication at home is important for your safety. Please call your pharmacy if you have any questions or concerns at all while administering the medication. We are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In the event of an emergency, Always call 911.